Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. It's a bit loud out here today, so I apologize for that. But uh, I was out here today doing a class with some people, and then at the end I was working on some Mozambiques. And so I talked to you about that a little bit. So I'm a big fan of the Mozambique or the failure drill, and its brother, the advanced failure drill. Uh, the failure drill or Mozambique or whatever we're supposed to call it, for those of you who know, is two to the one to the brain. The advanced failure drill is three to the heart, two to the brain. Uh, I'm a big fan of this drill because it teaches a bunch of different things. Uh, the first thing that I really enjoy that it teaches is it, it just teaches you how to shoot, right? I mean, you need to be able to pull your gun out and all that other stuff. Uh, and then get two uh, decent hits in rapid succession in a eight inch circle or whatever you're working off of there and then transition i like the fact that a transition you have to be good in your transition if you're loose on it you might overshoot it or undershoot it so you have to be smooth to ride your transition up and then finish that last shot which is a precision shot so you can get the two out pop pop usually get like an eight inch circle or something like that you know so you got bigger space to play with and then you got to slow down and get that head shot in that precision uh, and so that drill trains a lot of different things uh, beside the fact that it's just you know quasi practical right um, you know, to be able to have to shoot someone in this area in rapid succession if they're trying to kill you is a good skill to have so big fan of this drill for a variety of reasons so I shot it today I don't know uh, you know 10 20 times after after everybody left and I got done teaching here and I just thought I'd go over that so on this target right here, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on the camera, but the heart is outlined right kind of here on this on this target. So what I was trying to do when I was shooting this one, usually I'll shoot like a Ballard Ridge target, and that has about an eight inch circle in here, give or take, right? Uh, that I try to stay in. So today I was trying to stay in, I wanted them all in the heart, right? As you can see, that didn't happen. Uh, a bunch of these trailed out, trailed low and left, as is a typical right hand shooter thing, right? Because we're getting out and we're dipping that gun. So, that's something for me to work on to move a lot of these misses over, right? Because all my misses here are to the left, right? So that was where I was coming out, moving too fast there. Uh, it looks like I had a trailer out here to the right and a trailer out here to the right, but in general, my pattern is I'm gonna miss left like most right handed shooters, right? If we're gonna miss, we're always gonna miss low to the left. So that's something for me to work on. In general, I'm not, I'm not really that disappointed. Uh, I think if this was an eight inch circle, they'd pretty much all be in there. So I'm, I'm happy with that. This is all combat effective. I'm, I'm happy with that. When we get up here to my head shots, I was trying to get them all in the tee box. Uh, as you can see, that didn't happen. The only ones that I'm concerned about on this target are is this handful right down here, right? Those are dropping a little low. Uh, now again, are these still combat effective? Is that still through the neck? Yeah, okay, that's still good. But that's not in the tee box and it's not above the lip. That's kind of my cutoff for headshot. Is it above the lip right here? So anything below that, you know, that's that's not where I want it to be. I still wouldn't want to get shot in the jaw or in the neck. But, okay, bad news bears for that. But uh, again, that's not that's not to the standard that I want to be at. So if it was up to me, they'd be all huddled inside the heart here and then all huddled inside the tee box, and it is up to me and that's not where they ended up. So those are things that I have to practice on. I shot the majority of this from about seven yards, uh, and my time averaged around uh, three seconds-ish when, when I was checking the clock, uh, depending on the advanced failure drill. On the Mozambique, I was probably around two and a half-ish. So that's kind of where I'm at, and that's where my skill level is today, uh, right now, if I had to go out and, and shoot this and save my life. Now, Am I happy with this? Does this get the job done? Yes. I'm not, I'm not disappointed in my target. I am disappointed in my ability to exacting precision of where I want it to be. So, that is the Mozambique. That's my shooting of it. Uh, and and that's, that's what the drill is. If you haven't shot this drill before, I highly recommend you do so. Uh, it is a very effective drill to build on a variety of fundamentals. And then when you start putting time on it or you start putting distance on it, it gets even better. Because uh, you can shoot it under time and say I want it to be under two and a half seconds or two seconds or whatever your time is. You can shoot it at any distance. Uh, of course, it gets harder the further you go out. So, big fan of this drill. Would love to hear in the comments if you've shot this or what you think of this drill. 
I think it's wonderfully effective, and anytime I teach anyone to shoot guns at all, I have them run this drill just because it builds on all those fundamentals. That's all I got. I'm gonna go home because it's cold out here. Do brave deeds and endure.